So now with the Fluid API back up and running, right? And it seems everything's working, but we kind of had this person ID, status ID, and that was kind of the foreign key, right? For the person status. So I think I want that back inside my Fluent API. And is that actually possible? And the answer is yes, because there's actually something called uh, has foreign key inside the Fluent API. And this, again, we can make it a lot easier for us to read again the database. And we can say again, uh, we have the person, he has a person status on him, he has many persons, the person status has many persons back, and we have a foreign key on the person for the person status ID. Now using this, we can start really making some pretty powerful things inside the Fluent API. And again, we don't have to look at all the different classes to find our foreign key. We can just read the, the contact and just see things running from there. Let's let's see if that actually still works. Now let's try and go, go and create Olga again at work and just to create, just to see if everything's still running. And we hit the breakpoint, so that's good. And of course she is up and running and, and everything seems to be working. So we just added another keyword inside our person contact here called has foreign key. And there are a lot of other ones you can use. So should I use the model builder and the entire Fluent API or should I use data annotations to actually build my database system with the code first set up? Well, it's up to you. There are a lot of different considerations out there, but I think the one I've found the most is that this guy gives you more capabilities than using data annotation. So I think that's one reason to do the other one. The other one is that, like I said in the beginning, you have all over the place, you have added these foreign keys, the key information, stuff like that, and you can save it all inside this specific area with the Fluent API. Let's try and see what else we can do with the Fluent API and try and make it many-to-many -many relations, see if we can get that up and running. See you in the next lessons.